We are en route to Santorini, the last stop on the Thuman Girl Greece trip. Sugar the sweet, and the world does a sleep when you fall in a pie. And once in a while, Prince Charming don't smile. In fact, you won't show up at all. So you and I should be human beings and not just people. This whole year for me, it's like I've waited in like my hardest moments to go to sleep. It's like sleep was when I could finally be at rest for my anxiety and a lot of my sadness earlier on in the year. Yesterday was just straight magical and I've not had a single day up until yesterday where I didn't even want to sleep. I was so excited to get up and just be back in the moment of Greece and just feeling the first time this year like everything that has happened to me has happened for me. Like everyone's told me that but I never believed it until last night and I just remember being in bed like oh my gosh just, I felt like literally the night before Christmas and that was the first time I felt that this year so I just wanted to document that things do get better and once you start seeing for yourself why things happen for you and not to you shit is crazy <laughs> So we've just been walking around and we came to a restaurant and my mom looked at Erin and saw that one of her pupils was like huge and then one is like really tiny. You can't get a picture of it. So this eye right now, basically uh. she put on one of those patches. My dad was convinced we needed them because we all get boat sick. She put it on really early on in the trip and then it fell off and it was just like dangling around in her hair. And she kept playing with it and then rubbing her eye. And so her eye has been feeling weird the last like two days. And now her pupil is huge. So we just Googled and she's kind of, you never freak out, but like eye stuff is just like not it. How do you feel? I'm just like, well, I, cause I've known that, I thought I got like self tan in my eye or something, but now looking at my okay, pupils, mood. <laughs> like no, literally, I always do that. Anyways, those patches are scary and all that's why I don't trust medicine. So sick of having to wait your turn to have to speak. I look at you and know there's something underneath. You know there's very few moments in life where you're genuinely just speechless and have a really difficult time putting and formulating sentences together, especially for someone like me that normally can't shut up for the life of them. I'm in one of those moments right now where I genuinely feel like I have no words or can formulate a sentence. I'm gonna let this place speak for itself. Hi, we are in Santorini, which, oh my God, I have dreamed of this since I was a little girl. It's just that place that I've just always wanted to go to. So to be here, I just can't even believe it. We are staying at this like family owned Owned beautiful hotel. I don't even know if you call it a hotel. It's like you're literally treated like family here and I'm just overwhelmed. I, I come back later and I'll be able to formulate a sentence. But for now, let me give you a tour of where we'll be staying. See, literally can't even make a sentence. Let me just show you where we're staying. <laughs> So here's the front and you walk in and I have, I have stayed at some nice hotels in my day, but nothing has ever topped this. We have some wine there, a beautiful view, and this is where the sun rises on the island. And then you come down here and then we have kitchen table, the cute little kitchen right here. We have three different bedrooms. This is my bedroom right here. I am dying. And then we got a bedroom here. I think this is mom's bedroom. And then we have Aaron's bedroom and then the bathroom. I am gonna go down and meet mom and Aaron at the beautiful view. I'll show you all the outside stuff for sunset and later today. Drink a glass of wine, enjoy, soak it all in. Yeah, let's go, let's go find mom and Aaron. But there is your little tour. Just chilled for a little bit. I got all unpacked, put everything in the closet. Now we're going to be seeing our first sunset. And what's so nice about this is it's right here. So we don't have to go anywhere. And then we're gonna walk to a cute little local restaurant they recommended for dinner. I'm wearing this cute little two piece. I believe it's from Jaded London. I've had this picked out for months. And of course, cowboy boots. Okay, let's go experience our first sunset.
Well, I can officially say this is the prettiest sunset I've yet to see in this world. If not ever, we'll see one better. I still can't formulate sentences. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy the sunset with mom and Aaron, pop out a glass of wine, and be in the moment for a damn sec. Oh, someone's excited to drink some wine. <laughs> some friends I have completely isolated and been MIA like I do especially when you're on a completely different time zone where I've just gotten so used to spending the days off my phone in the moment I also uploaded I did a really good shower and I'm going to hit it in this beautifully big bed but I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow for another beautiful day here I feel so great sad in Santorini. I'm not actually sad, but I'm just bummed because I'm getting sick, which is so shitty. I was up with like sinus pressure for a good portion of the night. So I slept in, mom and Aaron were up bouncing around drinking coffee. We just had the world's most beautiful breakfast. Not only the food was amazing, but I think the view added to the entire experience times like a million. We are now just trying to figure out what we wanna do here. I don't think we wanna leave our place today. There's different massages you can do. We wanna just lay by the pool. Really just explore the place before we have some more activities and wanna actually explore around the island, I think tomorrow on Wednesday, and then we leave on Thursday. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and we're gonna have a great day. Well, hello everyone. We have just been hanging out by the pool, drinking a good old Aperol spritz. We're about to order some lunch. I'm wearing this far too extra suit, but you know what? One thing I will not do is let tops like this make me feel insecure, even though I don't have boobs. It's it's okay. I'm gonna wear a cute suit because I want to, not, not for anyone else. Anyways, I'm about to do you all a big favor here because I had a friend in New York give me a life-changing discovery and I thought I would share with you. The power shot a540 is magical. I have been shooting all of my content recently. Ew, I hate saying that. All my pictures here with this camera and it's just, it's next level. So for everyone asking, that is the magic here. Anyways, that is my little update. We got the hat, here we go. So my camera died when I was down there explaining the story, but basically the whole funniness to it is I'm clearly just not meant to have not only boob, but under boob because it was a very weird concept for anyone to see me with it. And so mom was trying to adjust it and then I flashed the entire island, literally because we're at like the highest point. So I got a little upset and then I realized it's not that deep and remembered where I am and humbled myself. Oh yeah, then there's a picture of it too that needs to be permanently deleted and never looked at ever. Anyways, we're gonna eat now. So we are currently filling out the breakfast form and we leave outside our room and they bring it to us in the morning. So Aaron put five, five cups of coffee, damn. Three mm -hmm. fresh orange juice, seasonal fruit. I really wanna try the chocolate cake souffle. We should try that. This is like so That's cool. Right. I wish I could do this every morning. I kind of do when you make it, when we're home, you make us breakfast. <laughs> Anyways, we just finished getting ready here. I'm wearing this top from Jaded London, IMG a skirt and Aaron has these fun little body chains. We we're gonna head into town and get our first dinner there and watch this is We're going on a catamaran boat tomorrow. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm gonna pound this water, take some Advil, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a very exciting Tuesday. Okay, bye. <laughs> 
Good morning, everyone. We are off to our boat. It's bright and early. I think this is the first time the sun is not like peeling over the entire place because it's back there. I am so excited. It's an all-inclusive drinking and food boat. So we're gonna have a bunch of fun, praying I don't get boat sick. I've had good luck recently. Anyways, I'm very pumped. Let's go on down and explore this boat. People around me, I think I would be silly until they found me. In Italy, we were the ones to go in. You didn't do it, so now you gotta show us. Just jump right in. What's Remember. the biggest wildlife or sea yeah, creature? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing can survive. With nothing sulfur. can survive. Sulfur is poison. No, so there's like no like sharks. No, no, no. <laughs> when you okay. have a shot of, we can do. Would you like a new shot? Oh, gee. Are, Are you gonna take a shot? Sure. All right. <laughs> Let's do it, mom. All right, it's time to go swim. All right. Here we go. Just go for it. Come on, make us proud. Is it really cold? It was chilly. You got it, Mom. What's the best way to do a noodle? Under your arm. Bravo. All she did it. Bravo. Look at her go. I'm so impressed. Do I just dive in? No. Oh, God. Okay. You can do it. Oh, it's not that bad. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Bravo, bravo. Now I can officially say I've swam in an active volcano. That is a once in a lifetime. <laughs> so amazing it was like a husband and wife that took us out they made us the most authentic amazing lunch that we've had since being here it just felt like a home-cooked meal and it was so cool that they made it so awesome while on a boat because you wouldn't think that, that would like happen but now we are back and just hanging out for a bit i took a really good shower and i've just been getting some work done i just ordered a coffee because i have some stuff to do i want to wake up have a really good night and a little cheese platter so time to get ready for our second to last sunset which i cannot believe <laughs> Okay, clearly they don't joke around with their cheese boards. I was thinking maybe there would be some crackers and cheese. This is like, they've outdone themselves. Also, this looks absolutely amazing. Wow. All right, the Thuman girls have dressed up for sunset. We are off to go find some dinner and explore. We got the cowboy boots, a lemon dress that I have been waiting to wear, and this jacket. This poor jacket needs a good washing when I'm home is all I gotta say. Um, let me see your fit. Oh, nothing amazing. Oh, nothing amazing? Nothing okay. amazing, just a little dress I whipped up. Just a little something you've been cooking up for a while. Ooh, I'm actually really impressed though. Mom just found a man that was following us. You are very aware. Normally, aware. I'm the aware one. Yep, you get it from me. Okay, he's gone. Anyways, we're waiting to get our table and get some food. I also need some water. And Aaron's really wanting sushi. But it's my last morning waking up in this literal paradise is making me so sad but we're gonna enjoy the day i'm gonna go eat breakfast with mom and aaron we're gonna hike today we're just gonna really soak it all in before tomorrow oh i don't want to leave so now we're going to your bedroom don't you think we're moving too soon i love to hear you when you complain about your best friend how she's so late well hello everyone 
this looks like Princess Leia a little bit. We are going to go celebrate our last night and go to a beautiful dinner. This is like my favorite outfit that I've been waiting to wear on this trip. I don't know why I waited till the last night, but I felt like it would be the fun little grand finale. And now I just need to take out my hair and then we're set to go. I didn't really film a lot today. We went on that hike and I got super sick on it because I didn't really eat breakfast and it was like straight uphill for two and a half miles. So I kind of ran ahead and found food. We went over to Ia and then we had massages, which was so fun. I was just kind of enjoying being in the moment. All in all, very great relaxing last day. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a single down day the rest of October. So I'm trying to really just soak in the last of just relaxing today before shit hits the fan the minute I'm back in the US. So here we go, hair, makeup, fit. Let's go have fun last night. got lost on the streets. Aaron and mom went to go find a castle for us to eat at. And we just watched the most beautiful sunset. We found a hidden gem of a spot. The lady at our hotel told us about it. And so it's like, it still looks like one of the main areas, but it's like a lot of like locals and everything. So this worked out in our favor. And now we're eating in a castle for our last night. So it's perfect. Well, everyone, I am in awe of this restaurant. It's literally a castle, but they gave us blankets. We're the only ones up here. And we all got our drinks and I was feeling crazy and I got a martini and I got a pina colada. I don't know why. I don't know why you did either. I've never seen you order a so pina random. colada. Mom got her wine. Perfect little last night. Three princesses in a damn castle. Mm -hmm. 